Welcome to Rebuilding a Burnout Vulcan Model Steam Toy, Part 25. Fitting the safety valve using copper washers and filling the boiler with water. Then fitting the steam outlet and making sure that the steam engine inlet pipe and the frame line up correctly. I don't think I'm going to take this polishing job any further. It's not perfect, but it looks right. And besides which, when it gets hot, it will soon tarnish. In this clip, you can clearly see that the chimney support protrudes very slightly through the top cap. This was intentional because I didn't want a messy ring of silver solder in this area. Most of the silver solder is on the inside of the top cap. Please refer to episode 20, where I show the silver soldering of the center flue into the top cap, and you will see that all the silver soldering is on the inside. This is a pivotal moment in the series. I'm filling the boiler with water, not all the way to the top. I'll only be doing that when I perform the hydraulic test. I was just very keen to find out if any parts of the boiler leaked, and thankfully they didn't. It's completely watertight. Using an old syringe connected to a short piece of silicone rubber tubing, I filled the boiler to around three quarters full. And the good news is every bit of the water stayed inside the boiler. I've already fitted the safety valve using a copper washer and here I'm fitting the steam union using another copper washer. The washers are not really required, they just look good. And it also stops the fittings from scratching the top of the boiler. They're not going to leak because I'm using Loctite 542 as well. To fill this boiler I will not have to remove the safety valve. That's why I use the water gauge with the blowdown valve. All I have to do is connect my syringe fitted with the silicone rubber tubing to the outlet of the water gauge. I don't mean when the boiler is in steam, I mean when the boiler isn't in steam. All I have to do is inject some water into the boiler where the water normally comes out of the blowdown valve. You will notice that I'm not using a barco spanner to tighten this. I was a bit paranoid in case the barco spanner scratched the top. This one's a bit smoother and a lot smaller. In this clip you can clearly see the difference in the colour between the safety valve and the union and the top cap and the centre flue which are made from gunmetal and phosphor bronze respectively. In this clip I'm giving the top cap a final polish with the cloth. I'm very pleased to say that I've been able to continue making the videos during my prostate cancer treatment. Tomorrow is day four of day five. I'm having radiotherapy at St. James's Hospital in Leeds, UK. It's a very quick and very professional service. I'll be there tomorrow morning at 8.45 and the final one is on Monday at five past nine in the morning. For these appointments, I was driven from York to Leeds by my first wife, Fran. And for this, I'm really grateful. I could have driven myself there but my car is very long and the parking spaces in the multi-storey car park are very short. Besides, I don't like being in hospital and my head would not have been in the right place to drive, I don't think. What I'm about to do is fix the piping position that connects the engine to the boiler. The engine isn't complete, I still have to make the crankshaft and the crank web. I just wanted to make sure that the holes all lined up, and indeed they did. When I see the engine frame temporarily fitted to the boiler, it reminds me how much I like the design of these burnout Vulcan engines. The only problem with them was the crankshaft was too thin, and the flywheel was threaded, and once everything was in position, just flicking the flywheel to start the engine would bend the crankshaft at the end. By the time I finished this modification to the design, with the 3 sixteenths of an inch stainless steel crankshaft, which, by the way, very shortly will be made to run in phosphor bronze bearings, which will soft solder to the brass frame. A simple and easy modification, just the way I like it. No hospital appointment today, so I think I'll do that this afternoon. You've been looking at an AB comparison of my Super Vulcan and my other one, which I've left original. They are similar in appearance, but completely different. In this episode, I've included a clip from part one of the series. This is what the Burnout Vulcan I've modified looked like when I first got it. These Burnout Vulcan engines were made from 1946 to 1949, I believe, in a place called Burslem, Stoke-on-Trent. 
The more I look at this very small steam engine, the more I like it. It is more or less in original condition. Although the inlet pipe to the steam engine is marked, it looks like the union nut has been removed recently. The general state of it could be described as horrible. But on the other hand, from what I can see, the general design is very good indeed. This engine is older than I am. I was born in 1953. So this one predates the type of engines I had as a child, which were mammoths. This is not a brass boiler, it's a copper boiler, but it does have brass end plates, and the entire engine looks to me to be well made. I don't like the water gauge, but you can't have everything. This, I think, is the later type of water gauge fitted to these models. I'm only supplying it with about 10 or 15 pounds per square inch, and it has some power. Anyway, that's enough fun for the time being. This is not going to sort itself out. I commenced disassembly by removing the union nut from the steam pipe. I think my design so far is a slight improvement on the original. I've really enjoyed this series for two reasons. One is it's been a simple job, and two, it's the first boiler that I've ever made. That's it for now. Stay safe, stay healthy. Thanks for watching, and I hope you found it useful. Please take the time to visit my Main Steam Models website and click on the section of the website that says Video Playlists. And by doing that, you can find other videos that you may like to watch. And by using the playlists, you can actually watch the videos back to back.